guys and welcome back to Pay Takes LA. If you're wondering why I look like this and don't have an ounce of makeup on, it is because my video today is a makeup tutorial. A few of you have asked in my comments on my other videos and sent me direct messages on my Instagram to see how I do my every day to day makeup just for life and work and hanging out with friends and dance class and I thought, why not? PSA, I am not a professional makeup artist. I am not an amazing beauty guru uh, that you see on YouTube. These people are incredible, but I can hold my own because of the industry that I'm in and I feel like since I was doing it growing up because of dance competitions and I still do it today because of auditions, um, I am okay at it. And today it's just going to be like a lighter, easier makeup. It's not going to be like what I do for auditions. I think I might do that in a separate video. Stay tuned and you will see how I do my makeup if you want. Alright guys, so I put my hair up because I'm about to start my makeup and if you have long hair like me, it gets really annoying if you are lotioning your face or doing your foundation or anything with your skin. So I put it up so it's out of my way. First thing I do is I take my Olay Complete UV 365 Daily Moisturizer and it has a sunscreen in it, SPF 15, and I just apply it all over my face and neck. This one is actually almost gone. Just like that. And they say it's really good to moisturize your face at least once a day. Uh, because your face and your neck are the first things to age. And that can help with like lines on your neck or wrinkles or stuff like that. Now that I am lotioned, I then do my foundation. So. I take a foundation brush, which I need to wash, just like this, and I am using my Too Faced Born This Way Vanilla is my shade, liquid foundation. I really love this foundation because I am dancing all the time, like all the time, which means I'm sweating, and I don't want to feel my makeup on my face. I don't want to see streaks, I don't want to see where my actual skin is and then my foundation is, and I get complimented on my skin all the time, but I really, it's just the foundation. Like I just, it works really well for me. So if you're looking for a foundation, you want full coverage, but you don't want to feel like you're wearing makeup, I really recommend Born This Way Too Faced. I just take a little bit and I apply it to my cheek first. And then I do the same on the other side. Then I have a little extra over here, so I'm going to add it to my chin. Over on my lip on my nose and a little on my forehead and then I like to do circles on my forehead uh, just so I'm not pulling my skin down I watched uh, someone on YouTube saying that if you brush up or you do circles it's better for your skin than brushing down so that's what I'm doing foundation is done yay on to my favorite part which is concealer I suffer from really bad dark circles I have tried eye creams I have tried getting more sleep I have tried drinking more water and nothing helps um, it is hereditary so unfortunately I'm stuck with them my sister has them my mom kind of has them it's just the luck of the draw but <clears throat> I just use concealer to help with that and the concealer that I use is Bare Minerals Bare Skin and since I am so pale, my shade is fair, which is the lightest shade that you can get. So for this I just add like a little bit on the crease of where my eye socket is, meets like where my cheeks are. And then I also have a tiny pimple up here so I'm just going to add some to there. And you can either use a brush or a beauty blender. I like the beauty blender better just because... I feel like I get more concealer use, it's not kind of just like wiping away into the brush. So I just dab, never rub, it's not good for your skin, just dab to get it all the way in. Sorry if I'm making the weirdest faces, when I do my makeup I'm like... <laughs> I get all the way in the corner and up to where my eyelashes meet my eye. And then I like to do just like a second coat just to be safe. <coughs> These fires in California are literally killing my chest. I have the worst cough. I feel like I'm struggling to breathe, but it's okay. I'm safe and I'm grateful. <laughs> so just a little bit more. 
And it's not going to take the dark circles completely away because that's literally impossible, but it just helps. Makes you look not as tired and I get self-conscious about them, so it helps me feel a little bit better. From there, since I don't want this concealer to come off, especially if I am sweating, um, I use a setting powder. I use Derma Blend Professional. I just get it from like Ulta or Sephora. And it is a translucent powder. This one is just called Original. So I take the flat end of my Beauty Blender, dip it in, and where my concealer is, anywhere you put it, you apply the setting powder. So I'm going to do mine all the way under my eye. Same on the other side. But once again, you're kind of like dabbing fast. You're never rubbing because you'll take the concealer off. Now that I look crazy, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. As my skin bakes, as a beautician would say, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. So I have very thick eyebrows, uh, but they're not as dark as my hair color. So I just like to enhance them a little bit. I use e.l.f. It's like $5 from Target. There's a dark and a light. I only use the dark. Um, <clears throat> I've seen people use the light to kind of like contour and blend, but I just fill them in. So I start off outlining them, and then I just fill. Go upwards on the inside of my eyebrow so that it looks natural, and then same on the other side. Now that my eyebrows are done, I am going to rub the translucent powder in. It's really just brushing it with a thicker brush that's floppy, and it goes away so you don't look like a ghost. Just gently because you don't want to crease your concealer. And then from there, because I always feel like I look a little bit whiter from that, I just go over same area, same brush, because I wash it after with my Bobbi Brown, which is my favorite, bronzer. So I just lightly take the brush. And don't forget the neck. Okay, from there I'm going to take my actual bronzer brush, which is like a flat head. Take the same bronzer, add it, and this is my form of contouring because I don't actually know how to contour. Right underneath my cheekbone, I draw a line uh, with my bronzer up into like the middle of my cheek. And you want it to be dark at first because you are going to blend it in. And then I outline my forehead with the bronzer because I feel like my forehead is giant. And this makes me feel like it makes it a tinier, tinier, tiny bit smaller. From bronzer, I then move on to blush because I love rosy cheeks. Uh, my grandma growing up always had blush on, my mom always had it on, and it's just like one of my favorite things. So I use the Too Faced Heart Blush, Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush is what it's called. And I actually got this at Macy's, but they do have it at Sephora. So there's like three shades. I kind of mixed them all, but I like the lighter version. Take my tiny blush brush, and I add it to above the line of my bronzer because I'm then going to blend it all in together. And you can make it as dark as like grandmas do it or lighter. Um, I start off dark because when I blend it in, it does get not as heavy. So right on my cheekbone. <clears throat> and then I take that larger brush that I used to rub my translucent powder in. And I blend the bronzer with the blush. And then I also rub in the bronzer that I put on my forehead. From there is every girl's favorite part, the highlight. I use Anastasia from Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It has four colors, bronze, summer, tourmaline, and moonstone. As you can tell, I have favorites, the lighter colors. Um, but I'm starting to use the darker just because it makes it pop more, more shiny. And you just take a highlight brush, which looks like a fan. Gently go over it, and I do it right above where I had my blush. Just in a tiny line. And then I also like to do it upwards towards my eyebrow, connecting with that line that I just did. And the same on the other side. I then add a little bit to above my lip to make it look like my lip is a little bit larger. 
and then a tiny bit on the tip of my nose. And you can do that as heavy or light as you like. Some people love a lot of highlighter, some people don't. Um, I just kind of add it as a little extra flare. And then my skin is done, so I'm going to move on to my eyes. I luckily have false eyelashes, so I don't have to wear a lot of makeup, I think. Um, you're not supposed to put mascara on, and I don't wear eyeliner on top, I only wear it on the bottom. So I'm only going to do a little bit of eyeshadow for you, which is my least favorite thing to do in makeup. I just take an eyeshadow brush, which I got from my Naked palette, but I'm actually going to use the Morphe palette. And it's just like the shimmery... Uh, like natural colors I guess you could say so pretty I take a light base and I apply it to my whole eyelid and then from there I get a darker like brown orangey and I apply it in the crease of my eyelid and then the outside Good enough. <laughs> Not the best at eyeshadow. From there, I take a pen of the eyeliner. <clears throat> so it's not liquid, it's more like a cream. And it is called 24 7 Perversion Urban Decay from Ulta. And I apply it to the inside of my bottom eyelid. I have to go really close to the mirror, so if you lose me for a second, that's why. If I do it back here, I'll stab myself in the eye probably. <laughs> So now that I have my eyeliner done, just makes you look like you're wearing a little bit more makeup than what you actually are. I apply mascara, but only a little bit and only to the bottom eyelashes because like I said, you're not supposed to put mascara on top eyelash extensions if you have them, just because it ruins them and they don't last as long. Just a tiny bit. No spider legs. And then to finish off the look, I just add any lip color that you like. Um, this is the Tartiest Lip Paint from Ulta, shade Delish. Um, it's darker than what I want, but I can't find my light shade, so I'm only going to add a little bit and just rub it in. And then to make sure that all of my makeup stays, I use the Urban Decay 24 Hours Chill Setting Spray. And I spray it all over my face, I fan it with my hands, and then that way my makeup stays. So I've used this when I've gone to auditions for like eight hours at a time and my makeup looks the exact same when I leave. So, and you can feel it on your face, it's more like a mist, it feels really good. That's pretty much it. So like I said, I don't wear a ton of makeup, <clears throat> I'm not a makeup artist. Um, but this kind of gets me through my days. I do get complimented sometimes, and I feel like everybody has their go-to look, and this is mine. So, if you guys liked this video, please comment down below. Um, I love reading your comments. I'm going to start getting back to you guys more often. And I really want to know what you guys want to see on my page, because... I'm running out of ideas, and I want you guys to enjoy my channel. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe, please. Turn on the post notifications, just that tiny bell, so you know that I post. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.